Hello Art Beaters, Becky here with a new video and I hope you enjoy. If you want to keep up to date on all things Art Beads, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel right now. Enjoy! Our top sellers are some of our favorites um, and those include beads, charms, pendants, handy tools, and really great clasps, all kinds of different things that you're going to use in your jewelry making projects. So I just wanted to share with you some of my favorites from these top sellers that include clasps, pendants, charms, and some really great tools that I love and that I want to show you um, how easy they are to use. So first up, um, I did notice that these are in our top sellers, these beautiful Luna Moth pendants. These are from Tierra Cast, and um, they come in all kinds of different finishes, copper, silver, gold. So as you can see, they have a loop up top, um, loop here, loop here, loop here. And um, they do have that beautiful design on both sides. So really pretty. Uh, I just love that copper one, but the gold one is also really nice too. Um, so pretty. Uh, and what I did with these silver ones, yes, I did wear these last week. I just love them. I wore these earrings. Um, what I did with these was I punched holes, more holes for these dangles with um, a metal hole punch. That's the great thing about a lot of the tiara cast components is they are easy to punch holes in if you want to turn them into links or just add more holes for dangles like I did here. Um, so I made these earrings. You can find these earrings in our design studio. Uh, so, so pretty. Yeah, I love the Luna Moth uh, design. I think that is uh, really beautiful. It's one of my favorites and clearly it's one of yours too because it is in our top sellers. Another one of our top sellers is the Helos clasps. These clasps are so, so cool. So these are magnetic clasps um, and they have this really cool bar design which have open slots. So how these work is you're going to need these tubes too and these tubes fit into the clasp. So you can make interchangeable bracelet stacks and you can use almost any technique here. Um, I've made a couple strands that are just strung. Um, you can use just chain, uh, more stringing. I did a peyote stitch strand and what you do is you can add them on. These are magnetic too so a lot of metals stick to them. You can add them on in any order you like. So it's great to just stock up on those little tubes and then buy the different Helos clasps sizes because we do have these in different sizes. This is the largest, longest size. We have them in a medium size and a small size. We also have these not just in gold, but in silver. So you can make these interchangeable bracelet stacks that um, are just really fun and they keep them all together. Um, so that's what's nice about this is when you you use these clasps you don't have to worry about clasping and unclasping four or five different bracelets they're all clasped together so when you go to put them on or take them off it's just one clasp that you have to deal with and it's super easy um, so really really fun clasp that is in our top sellers category um, super super fun I love these clasps so much and it's really fun um, once you get started like on a bracelet stack you kind of want to just keep making bracelets <laughs> making bracelet stacks for these uh, it's addicting so these are really nice clasps we have some really great videos from cynthia and her daughter jessica on our youtube channel as well about how to use these they've made some really cool bracelet stacks with these helos clasps as well and i think we're one of the only places in america that you can get these um, these are um, from a french couple really nice we have a um, interview with them on the blog about how they got started with these uh, but i think art beads is one of the few places you can get them in america so make sure to check out those beautiful helos clasps they are so wonderful yeah so they kind of they're magnetic but they do um, kind of snap closed because um, if you can see there's just a little a little prong there that lines up perfectly um, with this side of the clasp so that kind of keeps it 
um, all together. So they don't really come undone easily. You have to slide them and then the magnet really keeps them closed. So really ingenious mechanism here for this clasp. And then also included in some of our top sellers are great tools that are gonna help you make the best jewelry. And one that we always love and can't recommend enough is um, our collection of bead stoppers. Bead stoppers are your best friend. You're gonna want a lot of these. And lucky for you, we have a lot. <laughs> so we've got this one with just the plain uh, little handles here. We've got some with the rubber handles in different colors, and we even have the minis, which are good for your seed beading projects. So how these work, when you're in the middle of a project and you're stringing on jewelry wire, these keep your projects stay <laughs> safe. Yes, stop the beans. That's exactly what they do. So you're going to want to put them on the end, and then uh, when you're stringing beads, you uh, can add some beads, but then, oh wait, I have to take uh, dinner out of the oven. I don't want this to spill. So you put a bead stopper on there. And then that way, like if your tray gets tipped over or if you have pets with wagging tails or cats that like to play with your beads, uh, your beads are not gonna spill. Also great for um, checking uh, sizes when you're working. Before you add the clasp, you can check your size and you'll make sure that your beads don't slide off while you're doing that um, and the design is great for uh, looking at multi-strand pieces all together and making sure those line up nicely uh, yes can't work without them yeah and the plastic tabs do add some uh, extra comfort too and some colors so maybe you and your friends are having a beading party and um, she has her bead stoppers and you have yours if you have a certain color you know which ones are yours if she has a certain color she knows so they're just really great you can never have enough of these because if you're like anything like me you're gonna have multiple projects going on at once so you need those bead stoppers and they are um, one of our top sellers so uh, definitely check those out as well and then i did want to talk about one step loopers these are probably some of my favorite tools favorite favorite uh, we have them in three different sizes i think this is 1.25 millimeters these have the uh, sizes on the handles 2.25 millimeter three millimeter that's the size of the loop that they make um, one step loopers are a game changer for making simple loops and they're so easy to use so i'm going to show you how to use them and all you have to do um, is you put the wire through there and as you can see i'm below this little peg and then there's a hole on the side of the tool that you want to feed that eye pin end through then you're going to push your bead up to the edge of that tool there and all you have to do is squeeze and it makes the simple loop for you how ingenious is that you guys this is this is just my favorite tool uh it makes simple loops so easy um, i like to go in and close them up tighter after the loop is made but look it's so easy yes such a labor saver when making a lot of loops i'm so glad you brought that up because that is what i did for this necklace these are all simple loops i think there's about 100 of these beaded links that i made that would have been a hand killer had i not used the one step looper so like i said all you have to do put your bead on your eye pin feed it through the center of that tool, um, make sure it's going through that hole on the side, uh, snug it up right to the edge of that tool and squeeze. Now this one is the three millimeter looper, so it's gonna make that bigger loop. Um, so really nice. And then all you have to do is just kind of snug it up. There we go. This, these tools are just one of my favorites. They are a top seller for a reason because they are a game changer. Um, I love that they come in three different size. I love how easy they are to use. Um, so amazing. Yes, this uh, necklace is in our design studio. I've got a link to it in the video description. It's called The Duchess. I was inspired by the TV show Bridgerton <laughs> when I made this, and it looks pretty, really pretty on. So head to the website to see it. 
um, modeled on a neck because it just has a really nice uh, shape when it's worn. So yes, this is on the website. So those are our top sellers. Make sure to check those out because we love, these are some of our favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and hit that bell so you get notified um, every time there's a new video. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day.